Live from the breaking news and weather authority, this is WEAU 13 News at 6. As the month of June comes to an end, it's giving us a warm welcome to the summer season. Well, it's been one day after a vigil was hosted for two missing Wisconsin brothers, and authorities say the investigation is far from over. While the beautiful summer weather is bringing many outside to enjoy it, but officials have a warning for those thinking about entering the river. A Madison woman is facing charges after allegedly trying to set a man on fire. Police were called to a Sitco gas station on Thursday around 11.30. Tajma. All right, thanks, Tucker. New details out today regarding an overnight crash this week involving a car and a semi. Eau Claire police say 47-year-old Scott Peterson was hospitalized after this head-on collision on Highway 53 in Eau Claire. Governor Tony Evers has vetoed four abortion bills passed by the Republican-controlled legislator. One bill Evers vetoed today would have imposed criminal penalties on doctors. Welcome back. Well, it may be late autumn, but we got a sign of summer today. So raising funds to help them keep coming to the Y is very, very important. Yeah, and especially since the YMCA's in our area have merged, Sweet. how is this uh, fundraiser going to help with that? Well, another beautiful summer day ahead of us tomorrow. Drew has your full Sky 113 forecast next. You're watching WEAU 13 News at 10. Sky 113 meteorologist Tucker Antico is on the WEAU patio with the first look at the forecast. Hi, Tucker. How's it feeling out there? Hey, Dajma. The Chippewa Valley Regional Airport held an event today day to help those with intellectual disabilities get used to the flying process. So with a rainy Labor Day, I guess we won't be going to any barbecues. <laughs> you say it's so sad. You can still barbecue, you just have to have an umbrella there while you're flipping your there burgers. You First news at 9 starts now. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Taj Mahal. In our top story, the search for missing Wisconsin teenager Jamie Kloss continues as people hope the holiday season could bring her home. The FBI and Wisconsin Department of Criminal Investigations continues searching for leads. Barron County Sheriff Chris Fitzgerald says this case remains the number one priority within the department as the nationwide search continues. In our top story tonight, Four people are dead, three of them children, after a hit and run crash in Chippewa County. It happened just before noon in Lake Halley. La Crosse police are asking for the public's help in identifying a person who opened fire downtown over the weekend. Police say around 1.30 Sunday morning, officers heard a gunshot on 3rd Street. If you're looking for an extra excuse to enjoy some crispy bacon, I always am, you're in luck. It's International Bacon Day. Well, still ahead, cloudy skies and a little bit of rain today. Will we see sunshine soon? Summer, we'll have your forecast in a bit. But first, it's been over a year since a historic data breach impacted a major credit reporting agency. A longtime business in Eau Claire is lost after an overnight fire. Police say the Eau Claire Quick Clean Laundromat on Water Street burned overnight Friday. Crews were called to the scene early Saturday morning. Officials in Wood County say deputies found a suspected bomb device today. It happened in Wisconsin Rapids just after 12.30 this afternoon. Well, coming up next in Sports Scene 13, the Packers took to the field for day three of training camp. Hear from players and coaches. It almost feels like we can't catch a break. After a week of mostly dry weather, another batch of bad weather is coming through our late night hours. Full speed ahead towards self-driving cars, the U.S. Department of Transportation is continuing its work into the private sector to get Americans integrated with driverless vehicles. Well, this week, the Wisconsin Department of Justice has been hosting digital threat assessment courses around the state. Well, still ahead, Tucker has your full Sky 113 forecast, and it's looking pretty good for the weekend.